Welcome everyone. This is essentially an attempt to help you solve the IRC Senior League problem statement. First of all, you need to have RoboG 2.0, which is the next version Robo Grammar software of uh, Robotronics kits. So once you have installed that, you need to open this particular icon, which is essentially the icon for Robo Grammar. As you can notice, this software is slightly different than what you have been experiencing at RoboG. So it has four or rather six different contexts. So control on which you have your normal selections, motion for motors, variables, sensors, functions and LCD. So the first program that we will write in this particular problem statement is to find out what are the sensor values or essentially to find out how do we differentiate between white and black. We're looking at one inflection point value above which is black or above which is white and less than which is black or less than which is essentially white. So for that let's write a very quick code. So go to control, drag and drop start, take a loop option, make sure the loop has a comparison which is an infinite comparison like what you have done in the classroom most of the time, constant. 1 is equal to equal to 1. Once that is done, now the next thing is you need to go to the sensors and read sensor 1 and read sensor 2. Assuming that you are using two sensors to send solve the IRC senior league problem statement. Once you have done that, open the LCD option. LCD program is a way to find out or display whatever you want to display the system variables that you want to display so line 1 display sensor port 1 line 2 display sensor port 2 once done that go back to control again select a time block right click on the time block and say you want the sensor value to go for 50 now after that come back to LCD context again and clear the LCD screen. So what this will result in is it will the robot will or the brain will first read sensor 1, sense S1, then sense S2, display the two values sensor port 1 and sensor port 2, then display that for 50 milliseconds followed by clearing the LCD screen and this keeps on happening again because it's an infinite loop. You need to also put a stop block. Once done that, you need to save the project. Save it as test sensor value. Once that done that, sorry, I missed out on a T. Once you have done that, just save it and compile. It's waiting for some time for before it compiles. So compiling your program, successfully compiled and ready for burning process. This is good news. Now connect the brain and uh, burn the program, burn the software onto the brain. The brain should be the one which has an LCD screen in it. Thank you.